Hey Cal fans, what's up? I'm Haya with Cal TV Sports and I'm here at Memorial Stadium to give you everything you need to know about this year's big game. So grab your axes and let's check it out. The big game is actually one of the oldest rivalries in all of college football, dating all the way back to 1892. Alternating between campuses every year since, this year's big game landed itself in a sold out Stanford Stadium. Our Bears defense held their own on this first Stanford drive and forced the Cardinals into the first 40 plus field goal attempt of the game. Our Bears then responded with three consecutive first downs, but also got held up. Luckily, our Matt Anderson was able to make a 44-yard field goal, tying the game up to 3-3. The ball was back over to Stanford, who just couldn't shake our Bears, calling the first timeout of the game and having to punt the ball back over to the Bears. Rounding out the first quarter and into the second, Ross Bowers, Vic Orton III, and Patrick Laird pretty consistently drove it down the field, getting stopped just at Stanford's 30-yard line. Anderson went for a 47-yard field goal attempt but fell about two inches short, landing the wrong way on the field post and actually bouncing off of it and back into the end zone. After the miss, Stanford showed that they were in it to win it and slowly but surely made the ball all the way down the field, landing the first touchdown of the game after having it in their position for six minutes and three seconds. The Bears were able to clinch another field goal with Anderson to cap off the first half and bring the score up to a Golden Bears six and a Cardinal 10. With the ball back in Stanford's hands, they dished out a touchdown pretty quick and brought the score to Cal 6 and Stanford 17. But our Bears wanted that act so badly that not only did Laird answer Stanford with a touchdown, but Bowers also ran an incredibly clean two-point conversion play, bringing our Bears up to 14 and just three points shy of third. Wrapping up the third quarter and heading into the final 15 minutes of game clock to take back the axe, Stanford actually missed a field goal, giving our Bears some much needed axe momentum. Unfortunately, our Bears got just a little overzealous and went for a pretty long pass, which the Cardinals were able to intercept. In Stanford fashion, the Cards decided to run the clock to triple zero and close out an extremely well-played game. At the end of the day, our Bears beat the predicted spread by 11.5 points and only fell just short of a historical win in Palo Alto. Next year, the 121st annual Big Game will return right here to Bear Territory, and it's looking very promising under the direction of new head coach, Coach Wilcox, and a constantly improving football program. Until then, I'm Haya Koffler for CalTV Sports, and we'll catch you next year.